So as I peruse around, I just want to give you an idea of what a normal liver looks like in a deceased individual. There is no fatty change. There is no fibrosis or scarring change, uh, cirrhosis. And we're going to go down there. There is slight uh, uh, thickening of the central vein there. We're going to go to a higher power view, but you can see that these are normal, very healthy hepatocytes as we go and look at, take a look at this porter triad, you know, porter triad right here. So we go down and we're gonna zoom in a little bit so we can see these cells up close. But this is what a normal, healthy, now obviously there was some sepsis, so you can see some inflammatory cells in the, in the uh, canaliculi. But other than that, these cells are very healthy and I was gonna take you to that portal triads. If I can put it into view, here it is. This is a portal triad. The bile ducts, uh, small bile ducts, and uh, let's see if we can see. As we can continue to go around, it may not be, the blood vessels are not coming in as well, so we're going to go to another area where we'll further evaluate a portal triad. Obviously this person has sepsis, so you're gonna see some inflammatory cells in the canaliculi. But let me keep on perusing around. These are normal, healthy liver cells, uh, deceased individuals, individual. So let's see if we can continue to peruse around until we see another portal triad. Okay, here is one, you see a nice arterial right there. Now that might be a central vein, hold on this. Okay, here is a portal triad, yeah, okay, so that is a portal triad. An arterial, capillary, bile ducts, and there are some inflammatory cells right there in one of the portal triad right there. But other than that, I mean, obviously the person had sepsis, so there's gonna be some inflammatory change. But if you look at the liver cells themselves, they look very normal, not much in the way of fatty change or steatosis. You will want your liver to look like this, except for the inflammatory changes due to sepsis. So we're viewing the spleen. You see the red pulp and the white pulp, we call the right white pulp where the lymphoid tissue is. And we call the red pulp where you see mostly blood vessels and, uh, and red cells. So if we go down to a closer view, and as I zoom in, just to kind of give you an idea of what a relatively healthy spleen will look like. Again, the white pulp here, and everything surrounding it will be the red pulp. And obviously it's a dematis because this person has a sepsis. The white pulp and everything else, let me see, is the red pulp. You see some blood cells there, that's the red pulp. Alrighty, nice, uh, Trabeculae with the uh, thick wall vessels. Very nicely normal, relatively normal liver. I mean, it's doing its job. The person obviously had sepsis, so it was inflamed. But other than that, this is what a normal spleen will look like. A relatively normal spleen will look like. We're going to go to the next slide. I want to show this myocardium. Relatively uh, normal myocardium. Obviously, the person had some. Uh, ischemic heart disease at 80 some years old and this is a part of the ischemia where you see replacement fibrosis in between the muscle bundles but there is no acute uh, uh, myocardial infarction or heart attack but there are some chronic ischemic changes there you see more so here where you have replacement fibrosis in between uh, the myocardial cells the, the muscle cells of the heart but those are still relatively healthy muscle cells other than with the yellow ischemic changes but when you're 80 plus years old, you're gonna have some ischemic heart disease. Uh, but obviously, this is not bad. It's not a reason for a person to be dead for sure. All right, so we're gonna go to the next slide. And finally, I wanna show you a relatively normal kidney. That's a normal, relatively normal glomeruli there. I mean, glomerulus. There are three of them in the field, four in the field, and you can see the tubules are necrotic. So acute tubular necrosis from sepsis, septic shock, but otherwise the kidney doesn't look that bad. This is an 80 plus year old man. And well, there's some uh, uh, glomerular changes, but 80 plus years old with 
probably had some vascular disease and hypertensive changes here. But other than that, primarily, a, this is a, you know, relatively healthy kitten. There's some hypertensive changes around the vessel too. But uh, this is no reason, other than this extensive acute tubular necrosis, that all that pink stuff you see in the background, those are renal tubules and they're necrotic from sepsis and low flow of blood from the uh, septic jaw shock. But the glomeruli are intact, relatively speaking. Not much in the way of inflammatory changes that most often you see with either chronic kidney disease or either with uh, uh, some inflammatory uh, kidney disease. Okay, all right, so this is the kidney and thank you for, I'm just gonna go down just to kind of get a, a relative, let me put a normal glomerulus in view right in there. So, and we're gonna go down even closer if we can, just so you can see up close, not in a textbook, but this is what a glomerulus will look like, a relatively healthy, there's some little mesangial cell proliferation, but just relatively speaking, this kidney still is functional very much functional and then now obviously you see the the renal tubules on the chronic from uh, low flow of blood from sepsis all right